Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today we'll be learning how to draw a rambly raccoon. So first we're gonna get started with our nose. So on the top, we're gonna draw in a curved line from left to right. And then on the bottom, we're gonna close this off with a curved line, bringing that up on the side. For the rest of the mouth now, on the left-hand side, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And now from that point, we're just gonna curve this line back around and up. Now from here on the top, we're gonna to arch this line down for the corner of the mouth. And then underneath, we're going to draw in a nice big arch line, bringing that up on the side. And now in the center, we're just going to draw in a curved line from left to right. Let's draw in the right eye now. So from this corner, we're going to curve this line around and then up. On the inside, let's arch this line around and then down. On the left hand side, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. On the side now, we're going to draw in a nice big oval connecting this in towards the bottom. And then on the left hand side, we're gonna curve this line back around and then in towards the top. In the center of our right eye now, we're going to draw in an oval and then on the left hand side, we're just going to draw in a half circle on the side of the eye. Moving up on the right hand side now, we're going to curve this line around and then in at the corner. And then moving over on the left hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then back in. Moving underneath our eye now for the cheek, we're going to curve this line around and then up. And then over on the left-hand side, we'll replicate that again. And now from here on the bottom, we're going to start by curving this line all the way around and then up on the right. Let's draw on the top of the head now. So we're going to draw in a curved line from left to right. Let's bring our diagonal line up and in on both sides. Now from the top, we're gonna to curve this line around and then out. And then we'll do the same thing, bring this further up towards the top on the left. Let's come down on the right hand side now and we're going to curve this line around and then in. And then we'll replicate this on the left hand side as well. Now from here at that point, we're going to draw in a curved diagonal line, bringing that in towards the side. And then we'll do the same thing over on the bottom. Now to the right, we're gonna curve a small line that comes down. We'll do the same thing on the top, just extending that further down. To the right of this, we're going to draw in a curved diagonal line that comes out and we'll do the same on the top. And now we're gonna close this off on the bottom by connecting this with a curved line from left to right, arching this back up and over on the side. Now on the inside of the ear, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up. We'll bring this diagonal line over towards the center. From that point, we're gonna bring this diagonal line in. And then again, from that point, we're just gonna bring that back in towards the bottom. On the left-hand side now, we're gonna curve this line up towards the top. From that point, we're gonna curve this line down and then we're gonna close this off on the bottom with the letter V. Let's draw in the handkerchief on the neck now. So on the right hand side, we're gonna curve this line in. We'll do the same thing over on the left hand side, bringing that in again. On the left hand side, we're gonna curve this line around and in on a diagonal. And then we'll do the same thing on the right, bringing that in at a point. On the top right now, we're gonna bring this line out and then down. And now in the corner, we're just gonna curve this line back around and in towards the bottom. In the center of this now, we're gonna bring this line out, down, and then in. And now let's draw in our torso. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna curve this line around and then extending that down for the leg. Leaving a small gap, we're gonna curve this line back around and then down for our right leg. 
In the center now, we're going to draw in a curved line, bringing this all the way around and then up on the right. And then in the middle, we're just gonna curve this line across. Now from here, we're going to draw in a curved diagonal line that comes down for the right foot. And then on the inside, we're gonna curve this around and down for the left. On the top here now, we're gonna curve this around and then down for the foot. And then from this point, we're just gonna draw in a curved line connecting that together. To the left of this now on the top, we're gonna to arch this line down. And then from that point, we're just gonna curve this line back around and then in. We're gonna draw in a zigzag pattern as we come all the way across for the ankle, closing that off. And then we'll do the same thing on the left-hand side as well. Now for the toes, we're just gonna curve this line back around and then in. For the left arm now, on the top, we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out. For the thumb, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. For the first finger from that point, we're gonna arch this around and then in. Again, in the center, we're gonna curve this line around, back up. And then one more time, we're just gonna curve this line around and then back in. And then coming underneath, we're just gonna curve this line around and then down. And now let's draw in a zigzag pattern as we come all the way over on the top. Let's draw in the right arm now. So on the top here, we're gonna curve this line down and then out. And then underneath, we're gonna curve this line across. For the hand, we're gonna arch this line around and then in. In the center, let's curve this line around, back in. And then on the top, we're gonna to arch this around and then back in at a point. And now again, we're just going to draw in a letter V, closing that off on the side. Coming underneath again for the handkerchief, we're gonna curve this line down. And then we're gonna curve this line back up and in towards the arm. Lastly, let's draw in our tail. So on the top, we're gonna to curve this line around, up, and then over. And then now starting back on this line, we're going to continue to curve this line around and then in. And then one more time, starting back on this line, we're going to continue to curve this around and in towards the leg. Now on the inside, we're gonna curve this line down. Stepping further across, let's replicate that. Moving up towards the top, we're gonna to curve this down towards our hand and then continue to curve this underneath. Stepping further up again, we're gonna curve this line around and then down. Let's do that again, curving this around and then down. And then one more time as we come in towards the top. And that is it, that's how you draw Rambly Raccoon. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all on the next one.